many in a million words to say to tell you how much I love you. But one thing I want to tell you and promise you, Miles, is that I'll forever, I'll forever submit to you. I'll forever submit to you. I'll forever submit to you, Miles. I'll forever respect you, Miles. At the role of a wife in, in marriage, you don't know what you're doing because you've never seen it. You've never seen the role of a wife in marriage. You've never seen the role of a healthy relationship. So you're looking at your broken home as an example of what you need to do. Continuing on. And see, this is where I want to emphasize on. A lot of mothers teach their daughters to be just like them. If your mother was a single mother, you will think that's okay. Because as a child growing up, your mother is the first person you will ever learn from. This is why a father inside the home is very important. Without a male figure in the home, a younger woman has no way to see what a relationship is supposed to be like. They have no protection and no covering over them as a family. The man gives the covering. A lot of women in today's dating market, they believe that they don't need a man. Why? Their mothers taught them not. Their mothers taught them not to depend on a man. Their mothers taught them not to be uh, with a provider because they couldn't be with a provider. A lot of young women that grow up in today's society don't know what a husband looks like. They don't. So you can't get mad at the world for what your mother failed to teach you. Your mother failed you as a young daughter and it's not your fault. It is not your fault that your mother failed you. And a lot of black women, your mother's failed you. I'll forever honor you, Miles, as the head of our home and no other there is no other there is no one no plans of hell will ever prosper in our marriage and will ever hold me not to be a wife that is a proverbs 31 woman i will become that woman that builds the home as i follow you as you follow christ that is the only thing that we will do in our household and i promise and i vow that in heaven they hear <laughs> on earth i declare and decree I shall be a submissive wife unto you as we continue to do this work of God. Because to us, you know, this is beyond just love. This is about God. This is about kingdom. This is about our duty, reflecting to the world what true marriage, what God really intends for marriage to be. I honor you, Miles. And I love you with my all. <laughs> And it's not your fault that your mother failed you. It's your fault when you don't take accountability and say, oh, I, my mom failed me. It's time for me to do better. A lot of you, a lot of us as the black community, a lot of us don't know how to have successful relationship. We truly don't. Of a group of white girls who are sitting at their graduation engaged. And the question came up, well, why is it not the reality for black women? I know y'all not gonna like what I gotta say, but you know me, I'm gonna say it anyways. First and foremost, black women are above reproach. If it don't validate us or excuse our bad behavior, we don't want to hear it. Instead, we'll say, well, men do it too. Secondly, we'll find every excuse in the world to validate why we don't want to be married or why we don't want to be in a relationship. Well, they get cheated on. Well, they do this. Well, they do that. 
that. But then we have all these standards for men and we're still actively seeking for men in the midst of our hurt while inadvertently telling them to go to therapy. We do not practice what we preach. Thirdly, the independent woman is a myth. Ashley cared about being independent and it was something that made you happy. You would not have all these standards to negate your independence. Nobody wants to relinquish power find every excuse in the world to not be submissive and wonder why white women can get away with their bad behavior we take everything bad from white women except for the fact using marriage to our own benefit but you'll run to the child support office though Get equality against men and the only time we actually want to be equal to men is when it comes to degenerate behavior hypersexuality abusing or abandoning children even when it comes to the gold digger conversation what you don't see those other women do even when they are just screwing men for money is bashing men and inadvertently making men feel like they're not important also too telling them that they don't need men psychologically we have been taught to disassociate ourselves and even in that malcolm x quote where he says the black woman is the most disrespected he also says to be near your man who taught you to hate the very race that you're supposed to be with this is the reason why a lot of young women and a lot of single mothers they aren't looking for a, a man they're looking for help they're not looking for a relationship they're looking for help they have no protection think about it ladies who's going to protect you if someone broke into your house if you're a single mother out there, I want to know who's going to protect you if somebody broke into your house. When you call 911, who's going to come? A man. When you need something fixed in the house, who's going to come? A man. A lot of hard labor and hard jobs that women don't want to do are done by a man. This is the reason why a lot of young women and a lot of our youth today, they know more about Sexy Red and Pound Town than they know about family structure and how to be a wife.